Hello everybody, this is Momo from the Momo Zone and I hope that you're having an awesome day. Welcome to my new series, Momo's Motivation for Musicians, where I will be taking my years of experience and actually giving you guys some tips and tricks that you might not think were really good for music, but actually are. Today's subject is directly related to music as it is all about how to jam. I was born in the 60s, so I come from the school of some of the greatest jam bands in the world, and jamming has become my main form of songwriting in real time for years now. There are different ways that you can be jamming. There is the type of predetermined set of chords jam where you sit down and you figure out a couple of chords that you guys are gonna jam in. Oh, I like this beat, I like these chords, let's go for that and see what happens. Then there is the free-for-all jam, the kind of jam where people can just sit in a room, nobody even talks, they put on their instruments, one, two, three, go, and you just execute. I have worked with a lot of really great gifted players who couldn't jam if their life's depended on it as they are used to reading charts and notes and being told what to do. Breaking out of that format for them seems to be a little bit more difficult. And it would lead you to wonder, damn, how can somebody that plays that good not have that attribute? But it happens. I have also worked with some really bad musicians that were actually master jammers and phenomenal songwriters because they have no fear and they actually hear stuff in their heads and they figured out how to execute that. For me, jamming is based on architecture, remembering shapes, moods and sounds, being courteous to the other players and taking a do or die attitude without taking yourself too serious and just getting the job done already. When you work in an architectural way, everything works in a type of loop format. The loops need to start and evolve with a whole food group of things that could be done to the live loop parts, dynamics, intensity, half time, double time, as well as the speed and intention can all be used on one loop to make it evolve and feel like everything is constantly changing. I like to say that even if it is a jam, there is no reason not to create a song or piece in real time instead of just looping the same riff over and over again for hours and just blowing a bunch of solos on top of it. I play multiple instruments and these days I'm back to my love of the bass guitar. The great thing about a bass and drum approach is that together you set the groove and note foundation that everyone else has to play to. So basically, as long as you're tight, clean and organized with your parts, you can go anywhere and all the other people will be forced to follow you. <laughs> you like that, right? Well, it's true. When you assume and take it there, others do follow. Other tricks for jamming include but are not limited to. If you think that you are sounding like shit, then chances are that you are. Then fix it and fix it while you're jamming. Every time that part comes back until it's perfect. If you're going to sit there with people and repeat a riff for a bunch of hours over and over again, you might as well at least get that out of it. Then there is, when do I change and evolve the riff? Like a completed arrangement that has all the kinks worked out. When you are jamming, if you feel like the riff's been going on forever, then chances are it has. This is where you know, and don't lie to yourself, it's time to change. As you get better at this, you will be jamming final arrangements in real time more often than not. Record your jams on anything you've got. This is one of the most important things to me and when the god of music hits you with ideas, riffs and grooves that go beyond what you normally do, if that is not recorded, then guess what? Kiss that idea goodbye and your jamming growth as well. For me, the best thing about jamming is surpassing yourself musically, capturing, learning and becoming a better player fast with limited practice. This architectural approach will make you the best jammer ever. I also want you to remember that this entire architectural approach and the magic of being able to jam in real time is not only applied to music, but the rest of your life. Anything that you choose to do will benefit from this approach 
as it is one of the secret weapons that I think musicians possess that they can be transferring on to the rest of their lives and having the best jam within their life that they've ever had. Who wants to be predictable anyways? Hey guys, thanks for listening. This has been Momo's Motivation for Musicians, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week for another episode. You can see me every Friday on my Facebook or on my YouTube page, or if you want more, you can go to www.themomozone.com. I wish you guys a blessed musical day. You guys totally, and I mean totally, rock. You're on The Momo Zone.